Well, this kind of sucks. When I got here, I'm in a canyon, and there's some uh, big mountains here to the uh, west of me where the sun is now set. Well, when I got here, there were beautiful rays of sunshine shining through the trees and putting in some real nice highlights on the stream back there. And now I just set. So it's, uh, what time is it? It's just before 3 p.m. So note to self, I need to get here a little sooner than that. But let's see if we can make the best of it. And uh, we'll go from there. So if you ignore the graffiti, you might be able to see that the uh, sun is still landed on that face of that mountain over there. But over here, there's another big mountain and we're in its shadow right now. So kind of sucks, but hey, what's this all about? Learning, right? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention I'm wearing my uh, cool glasses again. <laughs> so let me take a, let's take a walk around. I'll do some handheld stuff, okay? Here we are. Stabilization on this camera is uh, nowhere near as good as the GH5 that I'm used to. Shaky, shaky. So yeah, this is a pretty nice area. This is actually a trailhead that leads to, uh, it leads to uh, some falls, waterfall, somewhere a mile and a half from here. So what I need to do is get up bright and early one morning. And that way I can show up in time to understand all the various lighting conditions in the canyon as the sun rises at noon or at uh, sun's peak and then as the sun sets. Well, I know what the sun sets look like now. I just need to get here in the morning so I can get the other side of the sunshine. Oh, also, I'm wearing my rubber boots so I could just sit in the uh, sit in the middle of the stream without having to worry about getting my shoes all jacked up but I left my shoes on the other side probably isn't a good thing but they're old shoes well you never know fortunately there aren't any homeless people living out in this area like you find in some other places but when you park somewhere and when you pull up you see a smashed windshield laying on the ground it's not a good sign it doesn't inspire a lot of confidence it makes me not want to leave my car out there for any extended period of time. Yep, graffiti everywhere. Tell you, I used to come up here all the time. Not necessarily in, in this particular area, but I used to come go hiking all the time and uh, just looking out there, how inviting it is. Really, uh, I really miss coming out. I need to come out more often. I need to get all my gear back together and maybe get in shape a little bit because my knees give out, which is not, there's not much I can do about that except for, uh, you know, take some medicine and stuff. But uh, yeah, I miss it out here. It's beautiful. Stinking boots! Ah. See? Where are my boots? I got a tag on it.
but I could sit right in the middle of the screen. Walk down here, come here up close to the water. What I was saying is, it's nice to have these rubber boots because you can uh, run through a stream fearlessly, not have to worry about getting your feet wet, although they are a little cumbersome. Very loud. So even though the sun has set, there's still a lot of nice color out here. Look at these fall leaves. Lots of orange, lots of yellows. And there's a lot to see. I love exploring. It's what it's all about. Right over that way, you see all those rocks. That's the, uh, that's the big stream. That's the center of the canyon. And it's a junction between two canyons. So it's very rocky and it's a wide open area. And that's the direction you need to go for the, uh, the falls, the waterfall. So let's go over there. So yeah, here it is. Very rocky canyon. This goes on and on. I believe that's what's called mistletoe. It's a lichen, I think. Parasite on trees. Or maybe it's symbiotic. One or the other. This will give you an idea of the type of flora that we have out here. Spiky, sharp stuff. That'll hurt. Yeah, 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 I'm still wearing my boots. My rubber boots. I know they look dorky, but not really a fashion statement. Especially when you still got the tag on them. Arrgh! The great outdoors beckons with a custom made trail just for explorers. Yep, there it is. It's the whole enchilada. Oh good, there's a little wind so I get to test the uh, dead cat on my microphone, see if it actually works. Hopefully it does. Looks more like a coontail than a dead cat to me though. So way out there in the distance you can see some mountains, some very dark, very large mountains. Some of it is snow capped. That would be Mount San Jacinto or Big Bear, one or the other. San Gorgonio Wilderness, big mountains. There's someone out there walking his dog behind the tree. This lens is all the way zoomed in, but it doesn't go very far. There he is, he's walking his dog. So I found me a nice stump, well, a dead tree. I'm going to get off my feet for a minute. And I'm still wearing my boots. They're full of dirt, or sand, gravel. And there's nothing more annoying than having gravel and pebbles and sand in your shoes. Hey, give me a break. Try to tell a story here. Look at my sexy feet. Yes, they are sexy because 
Once upon a time, I won a sexy foot contest. So there. Much better. So here's a long look up the up one of the canyons. The uh, looks like the West Fork. So nothing says a good time like going out for an afternoon walk with your dog. Only your dog and your thoughts and beautiful nature. You know, it's really nice to have a, a level on the camera when you're up in an area that is nothing but slopes and you have no sense of what is vertical. As long as that level is level, you know you're good to go. There's some trees there clinging on to the ridge side of the mountain. So it's about, it's about, it's about that time again. Sun's going down and I think I've done, I've gotten enough exploration for the day. Next time I'll be sure to bring my shoes across the stream and turn on my optical image stabilization on my lens when I'm doing walking bits like this. And yeah, bottom of my feet hurt, these rubber boots on. Someone's flying their drone. I don't know if it's in focus, but there it is. Zip, zipping around. <laughs> so let's cross. It's time to cross. Let's back over here. Good thing I'm wearing my, oh, I just stepped in a big old pile of mud. Look at that. It's okay, that's what water's for. Clean me right up. Treacherous, I tell you. It's treacherous. All right. So maybe it's not that treacherous. You see little gnats flying around? Some gnats flying around there. Oh yeah, I see them. There they are. I'm going up that way. But I'm not going to show it to you because it's a pain in the ass to go up there and then come back down. And I got to go get my shoes. Hey, my shoes are still here. There they are. And there they are. Look at that. There's a fighter jet up there. See it? Thanks for watching the show. See you next time.